All right, you guys, welcome and welcome back to the Nutcase Network. We are going to do another collective reading for you guys. So sit back, relax, and get comfortable. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that life is treating you well. I hope the fucking weather is nice. And I hope that your clothes look beautiful on you and you're eating some good food. Just all the positive things that could be happening in your life. I wish that for you now. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, especially if you have not done so already, you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. Thank you so much for your support. For everyone who's already subscribed and who continuously and consistently like the videos. That's a great way to show support for free. And it just goes to show that you have good energy, okay? So I appreciate all of you out there who do that. If you want to find individual zodiac sign readings all the way from Aries to Pisces, click on the link in the description box that I have for Patreon. That is where individual zodiac sign readings are listed from me, along with career readings, soul sessions, and twin flame readings, okay, you guys? So, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Any, anything else that y'all need to know is really in the description box. Oh, there is a reading special going on. Um, ev everything is detailed below, okay, you guys? I feel like there's some channel messages. I feel like someone's reminding you of someone else or there's a situation, maybe because of the retrograde that's like bringing up old memories. Maybe someone's trying to bring up old memories of a situation. So like, for example, this could be a person that you meet that just has the same energy of, of someone that you knew in your past. Or this could be like a fake friend or a phony friend. Someone who wants to bring you back to a place that you have since left and is like reminding you of someone who you have bad memories of. That's kind of what I feel, but I more so feel like the memories. It's like bad memories are being brought up about a person or a situation. I don't know who's doing it. But something or someone is bringing up bad memories about a person or a situation that you really don't want to, you don't want to spend a lot of energy on or think about, but let's see. Guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God, for my collective, what are the messages that you have for them today? What is it that we need to be talking about? This is the Maruka X date night deck. Okay. We have one-on-one. -on -one. I want to get you alone to get lost in each other's eyes. Hey, baby. Thank you. So, one-on-one. -on -one, I want to get you alone and get lost in each other's eyes. Cancellation. I'm sorry, but I have to take a rain check. Damn. I hope somebody didn't leave you at the altar. But I feel like someone did cancel on you. Or they were always making excuses why they couldn't do something. It really probably was because they was broke. It says broke. I don't have a lot of money, but I have a big heart. Well, you can keep your broke ass over there. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your heart. I want your money. No, <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. I don't truly believe that. It was a joke. But honestly, like, love can only get you so far. It needs to be a balance. Okay. Um, and we have deep. Our date was anything but ordinary. It was intense. It was deep and meaningful. I feel like a lot of you could be in LGBTQ uh, relationships as well. Shout out to y'all. We don't discriminate over here. Never have. But I feel like someone canceled a one-on-one -on -one date with you. Or someone canceled like some type of planned private time that you guys had. I don't know. Maybe you canceled. But it's like y'all already went on a date. 
And I feel like it was a good date because it was deep. But maybe you canceled on them because they broke. I don't know. Nightlife is at the bottom. Um, and that could be what is triggering. Because I feel like there's something that's triggering you. Something is triggering you to have memories or remember a situation from your past. And you don't want to. So I feel like someone may be triggering you. Like there could be a good connection. But there could be things that are just red flags. Or things that you just don't want to overlook. I really feel like this is an LGBTQ situation, like two women, maybe, okay, you know, I, I don't discriminate, I don't know the proper gr grammatical way to say your sexual orientation, but it's two women, maybe one is trans, changed genders like into a man. Or just two women who are lesbian or bisexual. I feel like the connection is very deep. But someone someone just does not have enough money. Or someone just can't support themselves. And I feel like there's one person who really feels a deep connection. But the other one is feeling like something is lacking. Okay, so we have nightlife. It don't matter if you're LGBTQ or not. It could just be a regular situation with heterosexual men and women as well. I'm just pointing it out because I see it. Nightlife says, let's go out for a ride tonight and see where the night takes us. Okay, so that may have been what y'all did before. It says, wish come true. You're a dream come true. You're all I've ever wanted. So damn, I'm just getting mixed emotions. There's one person who feels very strongly about the relationship. And I feel like there's another person who definitely feels strongly about the other person. But at the same time, there's like an issue with like funds. There's an issue with money. Or there's an issue like with responsibility. Maybe even accountability. Okay. Let's see. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I just keep hearing the damn... You know that old sitcom show? Wasn't it Kyla Pratt or something like that? One on one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the one on one show. So somebody may be in the basketball. Did he play basketball on that show? Maybe y'all was watching Love and Basketball, corny asses. I don't know. But <laughs> let's go. What's the message? Okay, yeah, Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody blocked somebody here, canceled the date, canceled the second date. So somebody could have canceled the date on you because they was broke. Like, you could have canceled on them because you felt like they weren't financially stable. But they could have also canceled on you because they felt that they weren't financially stable enough to take you out on a date. But maybe they don't want to tell you that because they feel embarrassed. So I feel like they're kind of being a little defensive or blocking you out. Okay. Maybe you feel like they're being standoffish. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody feels... Okay, so there's somebody here who feels a lot of attention on them. They feel a lot of eyes are on them. They feel a lot of people are watching them. And they, they, it makes them be very defensive. It makes them be very uh, standoffish or makes them feel like they have to be on guard all the time. They have to always be like in go on go mode. Some, I don't know why I had to say it like that, but yeah, King of Pentacles. I feel like someone, there's someone here who actually is financially stable. They have money, but they always have to like, it's somebody who's always counting their money. It's somebody who's always in this person's wallet. 
I feel like they always got somebody asking them for a handout or asking them for help. But let's see. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. It could be a feminine energy. It could be a sister. It could be a girlfriend. It could be a mother. I don't know, but I don't think it's a mother. I feel like it's more like a sister. Because it's the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this is somebody's family member, a sister, a cousin. Maybe a friend who somebody considers to be family. It's like somebody's family could also be watching what they're doing all the time. Maybe watching how they're spending their money. This could be a coworker who's somebody who they work with, a female who they work with. Okay, what's the Seven of Wands? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So somebody is like closing you out until they get this paycheck or they get this new opportunity or they get this money. That's the Ten of Wands. Somebody feels blocked until they get another opportunity. It's like some money that they're waiting on. Or something. Maybe an investment that they made. They're waiting for it to pay off. Or this, they're waiting for this new job to start. Somebody's waiting for something to come in. Maybe they're waiting for the new job to start. They're waiting to get another job. They're waiting for the, the investment to pay off. But that's why they got you iced out. That's why they got you blocked. Somebody feels like they have to catch up on their work. So they're either waiting to get a job done before they can spend more time with you or they're waiting for something to come in, like some type of money or a job to come in. But I feel like this person is like, Taking, it's like they're biting off more than they can chew or they're taking on more work that they can handle. Someone is really busy. I feel like someone's got a lot of like prospective clients coming in. They just don't know how to tell people no. I feel like this person takes care of their whole family, like King of Pentacles. Someone takes care of their whole family. Queen of Swords, King of Swords is right here. So I said, I feel like that's someone's sister. I feel like someone got a sister or a cousin or... <coughs> this, this masculine energy, this man or this person who's a masculine energy, King of Swords... They're trying to protect some type of investment that they made. Maybe with a coworker, a friend, a sibling, a cousin. But it's like they're the ones who have to get the money. They're the ones who make the money come in. They're the ones who make it happen for all for all the people in the family. That's what I feel. So a lot of times this person will bite off more than they can chew. But then still, they be tired as hell and then they still be broke. You know what I'm saying? It's like they bite off more than they can chew. But it's like they have to because first of all, they can't, it's hard for them to tell people no that they that they feel obligated to. Like they could tell you no, but it's hard for them to tell these, this, these other people no because they feel obligated for some reason. They see them as family or like they are family. Or this is their mother and father or somebody. I don't know. It's like somebody's taking care of a bunch of people. Okay. What's the page of swords? Okay. Death. Two of pentacles. And the nine of swords. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, they, they couldn't juggle it all. Somebody's stressed out as fuck. It's like they're starting to realize that something's got to change. Something's got to give. They're starting to realize, like, with this page of swords, they're looking back at all the times where they had to, like, they, I feel like somebody's looking back at all the times where they put their life on hold or they put what they wanted on hold for other people. And they're like, damn, what has my life come to? I'm just like a fucking clown over here juggling and shit like this. It's like somebody's basically saying, like, I can't keep going like this. They, they're they exhausted. Look at this motherfucker squished up under the horse, squishing ass. Look at their ass up under the horse. Just, just beat down. Beat down up under the horse. Spare, spare his life, God. And, and, and the horse is like, no, fuck your couch, nigga. Fuck your soul. Your soul is mine. Because something got to change. This person's like, damn, something has got to change because I cannot continue to live like this. I can't continue to juggle and, and, and be a fucking monkey jumping around for bananas like this. It's like they're looking at they I feel like they're looking back at a lot of opportunities that they missed for themselves. I feel like someone is looking at the time that they spent living their life for other people like damn. I delayed myself from being able to take a lot of opportunities. I blocked a lot of opportunities in my own life. Because I was too busy focusing on the past or too busy helping out people that didn't want to help me. I feel like this person is feeling unappreciated. There was love. This person felt love possibly for you. And they can't get it off their mind. Aquarius, Pisces, energy with hangman and the star card. We also got Scorpio out here. Somebody was somebody was in love. Somebody felt like they got a gift. And it's like they can't stop thinking about this gift that they received of someone who felt like angelic. And they're they're trying to figure out if they're trying to figure out if where they are is really where they want to be. Because I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate the person, the love that this person shows. And I feel like you showed them a lot of love, but they blocked you out. They blocked out this new opportunity with you. Maybe because they didn't, they, I feel like they weren't very optimistic. I feel like they were being very pessimistic because they already had so much on their fucking plate. And I feel like they're looking back at the way that they handled the situation. There could be some, um, Karma coming back around with this infinity right here on this two of pentacles. Someone is looking at the decisions that they made. And, and it's like they can't stop thinking about making it right. Or they can't stop thinking about like the fact that they didn't see it for what it really was. Because now they're starting to see how much people underappreciate them in their personal life. And these are the people that they basically blocked you out for. That's what I really feel. I feel like they spent up all their money on other people or they were so busy taking care of everybody else that they didn't have any time or energy or funds to spend on doing anything for you. And I feel like with the King of Pentacles, this person, they have money or they have a good job or like they, they're, they're naturally a provider. So if they can't provide for you, they're like, no, I'm not going to invest all this energy and time into you if I don't have the energy and time to put into you but to you it felt like neglect what's the king of pentacles wow eight of swords in reverse it flipped up like this y'all so I feel like this person really wants to like they're really trying not to think about it I feel like a lot of them are throwing themselves into work they're trying not to think about it they're trying to get their mind off of it because the hangman said that they were stuck on it. 
They were trying to figure out how to move forward. And I feel like, t see, 10% in reverse. They're trying to get over this. The situation, thinking about this situation all the time has got them feeling imbalanced. So they're trying not to think about the situation. They've been, they've been so focused on trying to make it right or trying to balance out their life. I feel like this person is just tired. I'm going to be honest. They feel tired as hell. And I definitely feel like they're watching you. I feel like they're looking back at how they blocked you out. They're thinking about how maybe they blocked you from... I feel like they blocked you from, from their life because they didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere. But I feel like this person is either feeling financially unstable or they are mentally feeling unstable uh, whenever they think about this situation. Pisces again, Scorpio again. This person has realized that they want to tell you how they feel because it's obvious. I feel like this person has made a decision to let like whatever feelings that they have be known. They've made a decision to try to heal a situation. I feel like they want to make it right because I feel like they want to be released from any type of guilt or confusion that they feel. I feel like there I feel like this person was running from the obvious. I feel like they were running from their emotions. Oh wow, and the strength card, the hierophant. Yeah, but I feel like they regret, yeah, I feel like they regret, like, not saying how they felt about you before maybe you moved on or before they moved on. I feel like they've made a decision to try to, like, learn from the situation. I don't know if they're going to say something to you because I really don't see them saying anything to you. I feel like they're trying to find the courage to, like, express themselves in a proper way. To control to keep their emotions in control but i i feel like they kind of are trying it's like they're trying to accept the situation for what it is live in the now yeah so it's like they're trying to focus on what's on their plate however It's like they want to get over this situation. They want to get over it. But see, this person is in a process. They're in a process of learning lessons about themselves and about what they take on in life. So until they realize that they're biting off more than they can chew when it comes to like taking care of everybody, not being appreciated, letting people walk all over them and use them, until they realize that that shit ain't where it's at, they're not going to say anything to you. But the, in the process of them not wanting to think about this situation, I feel like they're starting to realize things about themselves because it's like they can't run away from it. They can't run away from how you made them feel. They can't run away from the love that you showed them and the lack thereof that they're receiving from all these people that they're breaking their back for. So it's like, it's a process. They got to realize that shit. And, and and not be stubborn about how to handle it. Because I feel like in their higher self, like in their, in their higher self, this person has already made a decision that they need to make things right with you. But they just don't want to deal with it because they got so much backed up shit on their plate that they got to deal with that, that they're behind in that they can't even think about it. But they know 
that at some point or another, they got to make things right with you. But right now, they're living in the now. And I feel like that's what you need to do as well. You need to be in the present moment of where you are and not be worried about what's going to happen between you and this person. Because right now, I feel like they're getting used by a lot of people. And <clears throat> that's their problem. They got to figure out how to get their they ass out of that shit. That's why the fuck they broke. And they going to keep being broke. Until they figure out that motherfuckers is around them using them for their money. Okay? What else is the advice for my collective? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What else is the advice? Get out of your own way. Okay? Live in the now. I feel like you're blocking yourself. If you are waiting on this person to say something, do something. Feel like you're blocking yourself. We got a Scorpio, Sagittarius, or maybe Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio again, Aquarius, maybe Taurus and Libra. But I feel like, yeah, like take pleasure in the things you do. Spirit wants you to enjoy your life. Your God, spirit, the universe, whoever you believe in, they want you to enjoy your life. Embrace the changes that your life is going through. Everything is not going to stay the same forever. And be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself for whatever you feel like guilt that you have on the situation. Forgive yourself for how much time, whatever amount of time it takes you to work through this. It's okay. Just forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love on yourself. Do things that you like to do. Take pleasure in the things that you do. And don't put restrictions on yourself because of the situation. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed the messages, y'all. I love you guys. If you want to participate in the reading special, it's $88.88. That is a good price, y'all. I promise you. You can look at my regular prices on my website. That's a great price. Cash app only. Details below. Check out my apparel. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel and my other channels, you guys. And I'll be sure to see you guys on the next video. As always... Stick to the positivity today and every day be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.